Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Docker Tutorials. In this Linux and Docker tutorial, we explain how to correctly install Docker Desktop on Linux Ubuntu. We thoroughly explain all the installation steps. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that the installation of Docker Desktop on Linux Ubuntu might be highly non-trivial for students and people who are not familiar with Linux systems. Here is some background information on Docker. Docker is a collection of Platform as a Service or PAAS programs that use virtualization to run and manage programs in packages which are also known as containers. The program that manages and hosts the containers is called Docker Engine. On the other hand, Docker Desktop is a collection of Docker tools and an extension and graphics user interface for Docker Engine. It is free for personal use. This web page contains the installation instructions. However, these installation instructions are a little bit complex and they are not easy to understand for people who are completely new to Linux, Ubuntu and Docker. And consequently, in this video tutorial, we will explain all the installation steps. Ok, let's start with the prerequisites. First of all, you need to have a 64-bit computer and 64-bit operating system, which has to be Ubuntu Linux 22.04 or Linux Ubuntu 24.04. So let's check the Linux distribution. Click here, search for terminal, and over here I'm going to resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing. The commands will be written over here. To check your current Linux Ubuntu distribution, type this. And note over here that in my case is 24.04. If you see 24.04 or 22.04, you can proceed. If you don't see any of these two Ubuntu versions, then you need to install them. Okay. To run Docker Desktop, you need to enable hardware virtualization in your BIOS. Most likely it's enabled by default, however you need to check. To check BIOS and to check hardware virtualization, you need to restart the computer. And after you restart the computer, you need to press a certain keyboard key. In the case of my computer, which is HP Omen, I need to press Escape and F10 to enter BIOS. There, then there will be an option to turn on hardware virtualization. Okay, in your case, if it's a Dell computer, the key for entering BIOS might be different, so check it out and make sure that hardware virtualization is turned on. Now we can also use a terminal to check hardware virtualization. To check hardware virtualization, let's type this command. And over here you can see VTX, which means that it's enabled. Or you can also try something like this, this command. You can see this number, or you can try this command. And actually this will install CPU checker. You should install it. And then you can type this command, KVM OK. OK, exist. And you can see over here, KVM acceleration can be used. Perfect. Next, we need to double check this. KVM virtualization module should load automatically if the host computer has a virtualization support. To check if the KVM modules are enabled, we can try this. And you should see something like this. This means it's enabled. However, if it's not enabled, you need to manually load them. To do that, you need to execute this command. And then after that, for the Intel processor, you need to execute this command. And for the AMD processor, you need to execute this. Next, you need to set up the KVM device user permissions. You need to check the ownership of this thing over here and to see the ownership, you should see this. And over here, you see the ownership. Let's make sure that the ownership is properly selected. And to do that, let's set this and let's repeat this command. Okay, nothing changed, which means that we have the proper ownership. Next, QEMU version must be 5.2 or later. So let's make sure that we have the most recent Q 
QMU version. So first of all, update. And then after this command completes, upgrade your system or better to say upgrade the packages. And then after that, let's make sure that QEMU system is installed by running this. Okay, just let's wait. Next, let's execute this command. And let's press yes. This is very important. So let's make sure until, let's make sure that this is properly installed. Next, it is required to have system D in its system. Since Ubuntu is based on Debian, it uses the system D in its system. Next, we need to have GNOME KDE or MATE desktop environment. To check your environment in desktop, you need to type this. And let's see what will happen. You can see that I'm using GNOME and this is the requirement that's satisfied. You can also type this. Okay, it's a GNOME shell 46.0. Next, configuring ID mapping should be enabled in user namespace. Note that for Docker desktop version 4.3.5 and later, this is not required anymore. However, let's make sure that this is satisfied. So let's type this. And if you see something like this, this means that it's satisfied. If not, then you need to run these two commands. And I will provide a link to these commands in the description below. However, most likely you will see this and this will be fine. Next, you need to install standard Unix password manager. This is necessary for the later steps if you want to use keys to make your private images, etc. Okay, now all the requirements are satisfied and we have to we can start with installation. For further installation instructions, let's follow this website. You can simply find this website by googling install docker desktop on Ubuntu. We cleared out the prerequisites and then we need to follow these installation steps. And these installation steps are relatively straightforward. First of all, we need to set up docker's package repository and then we need to follow this tutorial over here. That is the first step of the tutorial. That is, we need to execute this. Perfect. So let's do that. Let me now resize this window. And let me open the, my terminal. Okay, and then we can start. So again, whenever you want to do something in Linux Ubuntu, you need to update. And then after that, I will also suggest that you do sudo apt get upgrade to upgrade everything good then let's run this command to set up the docker's app repository let's do this let's add key rings then let's do this then let's do this And then this is a very important step. We need to add the repository to apt sources. To do that, we need to execute this thing. Note that this is a command that spans one, two, three, four lines. So let's execute this. And that's it. And then finally, let's run it then. Again, update. And then I suggest that you also run sudo apt get upgrade. Okay, good. So this is the first step and we clear this set the Docker's package repository. Next, we need to download the, the latest Debian package for checksums. See the release notes. First of all, you just need to click here and this file will be downloaded and then we will have to execute this file and we will have to do it from the corresponding folder. Let's wait until this file is downloaded. And here it is. So let's make sure that this file is in the downloads, not in my documents, in the downloads folder. Here it is. Perfect. Okay, next we need to do the following. Here in the terminal, make sure that you are in the downloads folder by 
executing this command locate the file here it is let's again follow what is written over here although we did it already however let's follow their instructions and then let's run this command and let's hope that everything will go smoothly and let's do bang and let's see yes and now here you have to be patient it's going to take a while to install docker desktop so be patient now at the end you will see this message download is performed unsandboxed as root file and blah 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 other things and it's written over here on the website you can simply ignore that message so don't panic if you see this message and then by default docker desktop is installed in this folder over here later on we will check that folder the next step is to learn how to start docker desktop to do that click on show apps search for docker and you should see this beautiful docker desktop icon click on it and let's see what will happen so accept the license terms over here and then let's specify here personal specify your email address i already have i think a docker account so i'm going to use this email address click on continue and go further you can also skip this step if you want then over here specify other or whatever you are doing other specify i'm going to specify here learning click on continue and here it is here it is good 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 this is now docker and later on we will verify that docker is running this is docker desktop and you can do all sorts of things in docker desktop Another approach for starting Docker Desktop is to simply execute this command. However, since Docker Desktop is already running, this command will not have any effect. Next, let's verify all the Docker versions. So let's see Docker Compose version. You can see Docker Compose version. Let's see the Docker version. You can see over here. Then let's see just by running the docker version like this what will happen oops i made an error and you will see more detailed information you can see my operating system you can see the api version you can see more information about api versions and you can see even some other interesting things now the next you need to enable Docker Desktop to start on sign-in. So there are several ways to do that. Uh, the approach I like to do is simply to run this thing in the terminal. And this will enable Docker when we start the computer and we don't have to worry. Now, to stop the Docker, you need to execute this command. I'm not going to stop Docker over here. Consequently, I'm not going to execute this command. Next, if you want to update Docker, you need to execute this command. And that's it. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.